Hey guys, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. Today I'm going to show you how to use Spring MBC and TimeLeaf to display a list of products on a web page in a, a tabular format. So first off, we're going to take a look at the controller. My controller has a method called list products. It takes in the model. It goes to a product service to get a, a list of all products in the system, and then it returns a string called products. You can see that we're using a request mapping of products to map the URL products to the to this controller. What's going to happen here is the model is going to get populated with a property of products with a list of products from the product service. We can see, should be able to see this guy. Uh, this guy re returns back a list of products. That is going to get appended to the model by our controller. And then the dispatcher controller is going to pass it over to the TimeLeaf engine to render it. Now what we have here in the TimeLeaf template we come through and we do a test to see if the, we have an empty list in products. If it's not an empty list, we are going to render the table. So we have the table here, and then on line 28, we have an iterator and time leaf to go through through that. So what that line is saying, for each product in the product's property, we're going to go through and display each one of those rows. So I'm going to fire this up in Spring Boot and show you it running. And we can see that I've navigated to the products URL. Tomcat, we saw it come up in the console, it's running on 8080. We've navigated to the products URL, and we can see that the list of products has been re rendered. If I come in here, I can do a view page source. Now we can see how the Timely Template Engine went through and, and created the different table rows for us. This was all created by that iterator. We'll go back and look at the, the code in IntelliJ. So this iterator block here went through and went through our, each product and rendered that. We are, are taking the products list to the property product and then using the dot notation for each property for the iterator to work over through. 